I realised that after I saw myself being the last person between you and a cocktail, that I probably needed something a little bit more uh, video-like, just to sort of wake you up a second before I... And I will keep my presentation to less than 10 minutes for sure. He hopes. Oh, that's gone past. I'll let them press it at the back, hopefully. <laughs> Come on. It should have audio. awake? Good. Um, so, there's a bit of a way of an introduction to who Webchem is. We're based in Sydney in Australia. Um, team of about 50 people. Coming up for 20 years now, we've been a traditional digital agency for designers and developers building websites. Is That's how we started. Um, over the years, technology has changed. Um, we're very strong in e-commerce, and so we're building a lot of uh, websites now using predominantly Magento and Shopify. Um, what tends to happen, of course, when we build websites is the client needs to host it, um, and so therefore we then spun up a separate business to run a hosting company. So we now work with other agencies who build websites, but then hand, the, hand it over to us, and then we host and manage it in our, in our separate hosting company. So over those years and... I don't want anyone throwing paper at me or booing, but we are an Adobe partner um, on the ebook platform, and we have been for five years. And it still probably is the most busiest part of the business from an ebook perspective. Um, but there is a reason why I'm standing on this stage today. Um, so we design and build ebook platforms um, and solutions for customers. And what we have seen over the years when working with all of the Adobe inquiries that, that come through is that some people want a turnkey solution, which the Adobe ebook platform does not give you. Um, and so over the years, we've, we've been working out how do we actually make this a turnkey solution for clients. And some people want to take components of it, and some, of the, some people would want to take the whole lot. So just as a, a bit of a... An, uh, an overview of all the things that we touch on, all the things that we cover when we work with customers. Um, they may not work, need us all in all of these ASP areas, but these are predominantly the things that we look after with clients. Um, to give you an idea of where uh, some of our customers are located, and it all started actually with uh, NYPL, was probably one of our first customers, uh, which has been mentioned a few times now. Um, and yes, they are looking to implement LCP. I had the conversation with them only a month or two ago. Um, but there's a sort of a broad splattering of predominantly Adobe customers right now. Um, but we saw that the market's changing. We know that, and that's probably why we're all sitting here. Um, and between ourselves in Sydney and through a slightly frustrating journey um, with uh, Sony, who we thought might be the competitor for and to take on Adobe, um, 
Um, and I spent, went to the New York, and I went to the Sony offices, and I, and I got all very excited. Uh, and then, of course, they deprecated the whole platform in March uh, of this year, and it is no longer available. It wasn't all bad, because I came across a company called Dita, uh, which is obviously we, we've seen today is Affidita. Um, and so we've created, we, we've, uh, we've come together in, in partnership and on very early phone calls for me and very potentially late phone calls for you, um, we've worked together to kind of put a, a solution together between our skill sets that we have between both companies. And that's what I wanted to quickly show you today, is what have we done um, um, between the two of us. So we've tried to create what we've called an out-of-the-box solution. And it comes, if we break it down, to manage, protect, acquire, and consume. So the components for that is um, people need the ability to upload, mass upload their books in, and have them uploaded into a central uh, repository, but they need an admin portal with an, an interface to make that happen. We then need to um, have an, LP, uh, an LCP server um, to store them. <coughs> then there needs to be some kind of e-book store, some e-commerce platform to actually store, um, to, to purchase those books. And then lastly, a reader to consume it. And between Dita and Webchem, um, by the way, Webchem, if you ever want to know why is it called Webchem, I can see lots of nods. Um, well, we remember we started 20 years ago in the dot-com days, and web, obviously, is web. Qu uh, quem, quick, easy money. <laughs> Not such the case anymore. Uh, it's a lot more competitive, but back 20 years ago, that's how we, how we started. Um, <laughs> but between uh, Dita and, and Webchem, we've put together uh, an out-of-the-box solution. Now, <coughs> unfortunately, as I was putting this presentation together with our upcoming client, they pulled the pin on me and said I couldn't mention who they were and what they were doing. So I've had to disguise them, um, and, and I can't reveal the client in Australia that's actually that we're working with to deploy this. Um, but to give you a bit of an overview, uh, let's talk about the manage, the EPUB admin. So in front of your LCP server, uh, we have the D2 gateway. And the D2 gateway helps with the client upload um, all of their content, the user management, the collection management, all the book ingestion, because you can do it all in mass, um, the LCP encryption, all the meta tagging, all that information is managed through um, the ebook admin D2 gateway. Um, it supports open, public, and private collections. Uh, as I mentioned, book ingestion. Um, it does have link payments and setup pricing in there, but it's not what we've implemented with this particular client. So these are just a couple of screenshots, uh, dummy screenshots. I couldn't obviously show the client's information. Um, secondly, then, obviously, you need the LCP server hosting, and we've been working with EDR Labs to uh, get pre-certified. So because we're a hosting company, um, we've spun up uh, an LCP server, and we're now we can do that in a matter of hours, and it's fully on dedicated servers in a tier three data center, which is one of the top secure data centers you can get. Um, and we've set that up in place. So any new customer we bring on board, we can spin this up quite nicely. And it talks, obviously, to the D2, the D2 gateway, which is really nice. I am whizzing through this as fast as I can. Um, now we talk about the the uh, the ebook store. So we've built um, a white label version um, of a store on Shopify. Again, it's not the, not the true content, um, but it's, this is a business to consumer uh, uh, client that we're working with. Um, but it's a white label solution. It's built on Shopify. Um, yes, it can be customized, and yes, we can build from scratch. And and uh, for a lot of customers, Magento is probably far too complex. Shopify is a lot easier. Um, and we can help with the site design, the usability, and the SEO. That's what we do. Um, so we can help them with all of that. And then lastly, we need the client needs to consume it. So at the moment, we support iOS and Android. Um, and that's using the, the Dita Reader that's from Affidita, uh, which does the ODPS uh, to view the catalogs, um, and also obviously supports LCP uh, and the pass phase as well. Um, so we've implemented it. It's our first. Uh, we're hopefully going to roll it out very soon um, once the client signs off on it. I couldn't quite get them to 
sign off before I came here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's an exciting collaboration, I guess, is the best way to describe it, um, working across worlds. Um, and so it's been an interesting journey, and I'm glad I'm here. And um, that's, I think, between me and your cocktail. Thank you very much.